Just the scale. That is something that Battlefield does better than any other game. Is making it to where you can barely walk five feet without dying. Scale. Like, that's something when we talk about, like, the Halo campaigns and how they differ from, like, Halo 3 onward was the scale of some of the fights you got into. And Battlefield. Battlefield nails scale. And I think this game is the biggest example of that. Like, this is absolutely nuts. Just pieces falling off the battleship. Got killed by a fortress gun, just, like, Battlefront style. That was a grenade that I thought should hit, but I'm gonna keep pursuing these trenches here. Like, this is a whole war happening in the skies that I could be a part of, theoretically. But that I am, you know, on the ground here, not a part of. How's it going? I, ha I, I have not been able to get enough Battlefield 1 recently. And I discovered that it was available for free on PlayStation Plus. And so I had the bizarre idea. I cannot aim. To see how it felt on PlayStation. I've never played it on PlayStation. In fact, I used to play Battlefield 3 on the 360 back in the day before I fully switched to PC. We're already dead. This is going great, but I haven't really played a console Battlefield in a long time. So I jerry-rigged a kind of janky setup here and we're going to figure it out. This is maybe not the best of ideas. There's only a few servers online. Granted, it's 2 a.m. in the middle of a weekday. I don't know what I expected. But, you know, there, there's, there's, there's only so many people online. So we're starting with the TDM server. I'm trying to get a feel for things. TDM feels like a good way to get used to killing in this game. I'm already on fire, though. Okay. Look at the lens glint. I thought they learned their lesson from Battlefield 3. All right, come on. I'd like to see someone before they see me get a kill. Give me, give me two kills and I'll consider, oh my god, his helmet got blown off. Give me two kills, and I'll consider this video a success. Oh, I saw someone. Ooh. Dirty. Nope. Nope. I see you. Ah. This actually, it, it feels a lot slower than it did on PC. But it feels pretty good. Granted, I run into the usual battlefield trope of I have no clue what my weapons are. I don't think I can change these. Like, I don't have credits. I need credits? See, TDM is not a mode battlefield is designed around, and it's really interesting to feel that way given I feel like TDM is, like, the necessary game mode in any first-person shooter. But it just... There's something... Battlefield isn't meant for it. But it's still a fun way to get, like, introduced. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna hit those. What? They're everywhere up there, gents. They're everywhere. Unleash fire. R1 is spot enemies. Okay. Oh, God. Someone's in front and behind me. All right. He's dead. Someone's behind me. Ah. He was coming out waiting for me. This feels pretty good. This is a good experience. Like, there's there's not a whole lot of servers. We'll look at a couple servers in a minute, but like... This is a solid free, if you have PlayStation Plus. Like, if you're looking for something to play, you're getting that, you're getting that new game itch. You wanna, you wanna play, jump in some multiplayer or something? This is a solid experience. Did you see all those red dots on that map? Is that someone? Oh, that's just a body. Alright. There were so many enemies on that one location. Yep. And I can't. <laughs> so here's the thing I'm trying to reconnect with, is this kind of experience. Like, I remember the glory days, as it were. Oh, we're behind them. Oh, this is dirty. But yeah, I'm to repeat myself. Yeah, I'm trying to... I really... I just want to try to recreate the glory days, as it were. Of booting up my PS3, Xbox 360 getting killed by people I can't see P booting up Call of Duty 4 World at War Modern Warfare 2 play you know jamming in a game that I didn't have to think about think about the business models of okay you're just in my face and getting some matches in and and clearly I'm not good at this 
But this is like, this is pretty good. This is, this is the experience. You just install this, you have it. It has an active player base. Provided for free thanks to licensing agreement with Sony. With no filters. There's three servers in the server browser and two of them are not US. Team Deathmatch, Operations Campaign, and Team Deathmatch. Even though it's a higher ping, I want to try the Operations. It's a DICE official server. They still have some DICE official servers up, which is something. Alright, I'll be your squad buddy, Road Stripe. Oh, they already have a blimp up? What am I joining in on? They already got the blimp. Oh, it's chaos down here. Oh, my, my Lanta. What is happening? So this is available on both PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5, thanks to the PS5 backwards compatibility. Okay, that depth of field effect is very messed up. And so I'm running it on PlayStation 5. 4K, 60 hertz with HDR. That did not kill him. That is unfortunate. That also did not kill him. And it runs pretty smooth. Some of these extra effects I turned on in the menu, because you could adjust FOV and things like that, uh, seem to really be hurting things, but I just got blown up by a plane. Plan! This is... this is pretty cool. Oh! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! The blimp! What in the world? It's crashing down. That was not the sight I expected to see when I jumped out of that tank, and then I get bombed. This plane is just destroying us. Grenade. Please. He's right there. I see you. Yeah. I was not going to let you go this time, my good sir. A is, oh, nope, A is not my point. Honestly, and I say this knowing full well, there's plenty of Battlefield games out there now. This feels completely unlike any other first person shooter available on the PlayStation right now. So much went into this game that just isn't in other shooters. Something feels really good with this game with the hit markers when you actually get that kill finished off. Battlefield games often feel kind of detached when you're shooting people. This feels Weirdly wonderful when you're actually like landing shots. Oh, hello. I did not see that. I disabled the turret, but You over here just hanging out. I didn't realize I was walking into a squad <laughs> Look at that body. Jesus the ragdolls All right, B, B is still mine. I Disabled the 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 fortress turret I'm Coming for the dudes I will say a big thing that I feel like I struggle in this game with compare. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Compared to other, like, more modern battlefield titles. We have lost objective. Is visibility. I don't feel like I see people in this map. Like, on, in this game. I felt the same way on PC, but I feel... I definitely feel that way here. Alright, we definitely damaged the bomber, but we're just getting picked off from places that... I can't even see through the smoke. I know they don't have, like, thermal scopes in World War One. You ain't, you're not gonna lie to me about that one. Oh my. Oh. Woo! See, that's what I'm talking about. When you get that final little red ding to finish someone off, and when you're just firing into a crowd without pinpoint accuracy for once, I just got killed by a mortar? That's what that is. Oh man. This is brutal, dude. Just the scale. That is something that Battlefield does better than any other game is making it to where you can barely walk five feet without dying scale like that's something when we talk about like the halo campaigns and how they differ from like halo 3 onward was the scale of some of the fights you got into and battlefield battlefield nails scale and i think this game is the biggest example of that like this is absolutely nuts Just pieces falling off the battleship. Got killed by a fortress gun, just like Battlefront style. That was a grenade that I thought should hit, but I'm gonna keep pursuing these trenches here. Like this is a whole war happening in the skies that I could be a part of theoretically, but that I am, you know, on this ground here, not a part of. Woo! And see, I get to hide under the damaged parts? Are you kidding me? 
I just took cover under, like, the stuff falling out of the sky. What game do you get to do that in? I realize a lot of it is gonna be like... Oh, hello. Ah, the plane, dude! The plane! I realize a lot of it's gonna be, like, scripted. Like, that's gonna be in the same spot or, you know, similar spots. But, like, it's still awesome, dude. Say- Oh, I pulled that off! What?! No way! Yeah, I mean, okay, that was sick. What is, all right, I need to turn off the depth of field for the sniper, because there's a guy on, like, right there. It's so blurry. Having been playing a bunch of different battlefields recently, I struggle with the getting killed from random locations I absolutely cannot see. Far worse in one than I ever have in three, four, or 20, 42. Okay, they're, like, getting super aggressive now. I gotta choose my shots. We got two in a row, ladies and gentlemen. I think there's someone in that fog. Ooh. I missed. I missed. That one should have hit. Oh, uh, ah, from behind. We were getting some good shots in, though. That was lovely. Oh, below us, below us. Can I even... Oh, I got some hit markers, too. We're getting a little high now. I did hit an enemy, though. This feels pretty good. See, I don't mind riding in planes. I just can't fly them. Oh, there's an enemy plane. Bogey on our tail! I don't think I'm even coming close. Oh, the nighttime map is so beautiful, especially in HDR. I highly recommend, even if you don't have a great HDR display, but you have something that does HDR and you're not, you know, even if you're not a fan of it so far, give this game a try in it. It's... It is a really good showcase for how great of an experience HDR can be. Did I get that frag kill on the horse guy? <gasps> Yo. All right. This is incredible. I completely ran away from my squad mate. I'm not going to lie, but. Oh, but I feel like it was worth it for this experience. Yeah, I know he's there. I don't have a grenade anymore. I'm trying to play it safe. Damn. I'm gonna push. I'm gonna push. It's gonna get me killed. I'm impatient. I don't actually know where he went. Oh, balls. I thought that moving rock was a person. Look at that light from the flare! Oh my god, it's an army! It's an army! <laughs> that was amazing. The lights from the flares. It's beautiful. Oh, look at the fire in the... Mm, yes. This, this... This is doing it for me. I don't think so. I just shot completely over his head. Yep, that's not gonna... You also don't have the ability to heal as easily in this. Oh, uh, he's coming. He was just charging me. He knew I was there. I don't want to stay in it, but like, that's a good mobile spawn point. Take out the sniper guy. I see you. I see you as well. Get some reloads in. See where else these guys are going to try to sneak. We're going to get another alley-oop. Nope. I know he was right there. I guess he died. Alright, I'm going to sneak in. With zero awareness. Of enemy positions. Okay, we got a whole team here. I like this. We got the d boys. Oh, no, no, no. Alright. That was scary. You can have ammo. Ammo for everyone. Can I have heals? Anyone got heals? Probably not. Does that thing have a flamethrower? That's just evil. Alright. Where, where? Am I seeing a shot? Oh, yeah. Yes, I am. 
That was terrible aiming, but that's fine. Why is my spot not working? I'm looking right at him. Get a nice little flanky angle as we're going in here. Especially because there are people. Hide me. There's still more. God, what the fuck is going that dude's mad. I hear someone to my left. I don't want to climb up until I am more certain of what I hear. I like that both being outside of and inside of the trenches is kind of sneaky. Alright, we got A as well. Dude, that dude's just charging him! He's nuts! Is he just stabbing all of them? Oh, I only have two bullets. How do I get me more ammo? Is that it? That's it. Don't- He's just stabbing them all! What's he doing? He's a god! He's a butcher! Oh, I'm so thrown off now. Oh, the horse! Oh, I didn't even see enemies were approaching on me. I was just fighting the horse. It's so scary. Let's see. Uh, okay, that's not exactly the angle I expected to be given. Oh, he got thrown off and everything. Oh, I'm distracted by the cinematics, dude. Just the beauty of it all. Okay, I had no hit points. <laughs> This video's running longer than I expected, just because I'm so stoked on this. So shouts out if you're still watching. Let me know your favorite thing about Battlefield in the comments below. I'll finish this up here in a minute, but like, I just don't want to stop. I did not plan on playing this long, but it feels amazing. Yo, what? This is wild. I love this. It's so hard to get pinpoint. Oh, <gasps> but I hit him. Let's do another one, baby. Oh, the horse moved. The horse is running. Bye. Bye. Oh, not bye. Look at all these mortar shells. This is amazing. Fucking god. We have lost objective charge. Really? That didn't kill him? I unloaded into him and grenaded him. How many bullets does this guy take? Well. You tried. There's someone else, though. Alright, well, this has gone on way longer than I intended just because I have not wanted to stop playing. It is that good. So, I do hope you have enjoyed this experience with me. If you're looking for more Battlefield 1, I do have my first impressions playing Battlefield 1 for the first time since I was, it's just one that I skipped uh, with BBK Dragoon, my good buddy. Uh, we were playing on PC, linked below, and otherwise, be kind, rewind. I'm gonna keep trying to take E here because I have no self-control and this is way too much fun.